The current Hudson River Rail Tunnel can be a major choke point, a critical link to New York Penn Station, the busiest train station in all of America. This tunnel opened for business in 1910, 113 years ago, and the structure is literally deteriorating. The roof is leaking, the floor is sinking, plus it was badly damaged by Superstorm Standy. I was the vice president. I came and walked through this tunnel. You ought to see it. Today, over 10 years later, there's still remnants of seawater in the tunnel eating away at the concrete, the steel, and the electrical components within the tunnel. In 2020, there were over 12,000 minutes in delay in just one year. 12,000 minutes of delay. The United States of America, for God's sake, what are we doing? This is the United States of America. We know better. We're so much brighter than that. And now we're going to prove it. We're going to rebuild the existing tunnel, but we can't do that until we build a brand new, entirely second, an entirely different and separate tunnel. We can't fix the first one without building the new one. And it's, that tunnel is going to, you're going to run at faster speeds with no interruptions, be running at 100 miles an hour, while the original tunnel is under construction. That'll mean fewer delays, less risk and major, of major shutdowns. The new tunnel is going to have two tubes with one track in each tube, so they can keep operating even if one side breaks down. But it's going to be safer, more resilient, more reliable, and the biggest rail, the biggest rail line in the United States of America. And to get it done is the first step. We're completing the, the concrete casing under the Hudson Yards, as Chuck referenced, which Chuck has been talking and talking and talking and talking and talking about. Hudson Yards sits above where the new tunnel will connect to Penn Station. This is a critical step for everything else we're going to do in the Carter and rail period.